Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 20. That is, what is unit testing? Let me answer. Unit testing is a first level of software testing. There are four different levels in software testing. That is unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and acceptance testing. And unit testing is a first level of software testing. Generally, this unit testing is performed by development team. Okay, developers will generally perform this unit testing. Not only unit testing guys, developers will also perform the integration testing. Whereas system testing will be performed by the software testers and acceptance testing will be performed by the end users or customers. So unit testing is generally performed by the developers and this unit testing falls into the white box testing category okay it is performed by the developers and it falls into the white box testing category because while developers are performing the unit testing they can see the code they can access the code okay the testing that can be performed by seeing the code or accessing the code is nothing but the white box testing okay hence unit testing falls into the white box testing category now let me explain the exact meaning of or exact explanation of what exactly is unit testing okay in order to understand unit testing what exactly is unit testing in a clear manner first you have to understand what is mean by a unit okay first you have to understand what is a unit then you can understand what is unit testing let me explain what exactly is a unit so let's say let's say this particular box or rectangle represents the entire application software code okay entire entire application code okay let's assume that this rectangle represents an entire application code and you can break this rectangle that is entire application code into some smallest units okay here each and every box is nothing but a unit you cannot break this particular box further okay only to this much extent you can break the code the smallest unit if you break the entire application code into smallest units like this okay smallest pieces like this here each and every piece is nothing but a unit so this is a unit this is a unit this is another unit and so on guys okay the entire application code when broken into smallest parts or portions where that smallest parts or portions are nothing but units guys okay here whatever i am drawing are the smallest breakable you cannot break them further guys okay you cannot break them further till this extent only you can break here each and every box represents a unit fine each and every box here represents a unit done so here now you understood what exactly is a unit okay now you understood what exactly is a unit so in real time how can we break the entire application code into smallest unbreakable parts okay so so how to do that in real time in real time what is the procedure here i have an example guys for example if you have if the developers have written the entire application code for a calculator application okay let's assume that the developers have written the code for a calculator application okay calculator software application they have written the entire code if if you have to break that entire application code into smallest units okay smallest parts as possible as smallest parts if you break them maybe one of the unit can become a division of two numbers okay so assume that this is a calculator here one of the unit can be the code for addition okay the code for addition code addition of two numbers this unit can be the other unit can contain the code for uh, subtraction okay subtraction subtraction of two numbers another unit can be okay you see entire code is there for the calculator and each and every unit is like for example this unit code is for addition of two numbers okay subtraction of two numbers here multiplication of two numbers and so on okay multiplication of two numbers division of two numbers and so on for example if i take a particular unit as a division of two numbers okay let's say this particular unit belongs to the logic code for a division of two numbers okay division of two numbers how the code will be there how the code will be there let me write it here okay so whatever i am writing here is a unit case okay assume that this is a unit so the code will be like this in java if i write the code public void okay 
division okay division of division of two numbers okay like this some method is there okay so you cannot break this method further okay so when i divided the entire application code into smallest uh, possible uh, parts okay one of the part came like this okay which contains the code for dividing two numbers okay which contains the code for dividing two numbers i'll just make this small div of two numbers i'll say so int uh, a comma int b something like this okay this is a code case this is a unit code and here i'll write the logic i'll say int some uh, int uh, result is equal to a divided by b okay a divided by b and uh, here okay so here i'll write uh, something like this system dot out dot print ln okay result i'll print the result here okay so system dot out dot print ln don't worry if you don't know java okay this is just an example okay how the unit looks like in real time so here i'll say result okay i'll print the result okay that is a division of two numbers i'll result okay fine now this is an example of a unit this is one unit case okay this is one unit a piece of code which cannot be broken further so one example for the unit is a method the usable method in the calculator application which cannot be broken further this particular unit i cannot break further more okay so developers who performs unit testing developers will perform unit testing while developers perform the unit testing they can see the code they can access the code and all those stuff okay so what are the developers how the developers will be testing this particular unit piece of code okay how they test it uh, individually so here guys you have to understand one thing okay for now you understood what exactly is a unit okay for now you understood what exactly is a unit unit testing means this broken down individual units okay this is one example of a unit like this other units also exist in the application code right so this broken down individual units will be tested separately okay developers will test this individual units which are broken down from this entire application code individually separately they will test and that kind of testing done by developers is known as unit testing okay so testing the uh, units which came out of the entire application code separately or individually by passing some valid inputs and invalid inputs for example for this particular unit what the developers how the developers will test this particular code so developers uh, will call this particular method and they pass some values like a uh, 5 3 5 will go into a 3 will go into b how many times uh, 5 will be divided by 3 so one will be printed here okay three times uh, one time three ones are three okay. only one time for example if i if the developers will pass 6 and 3 okay 6 into a and uh, 3 into b two times result will be 2 okay uh, 6 can be divided by 3 by 2 times so the result will be calculated and printed as 2 here what if what if uh, let's say someone uh, developers will pass uh, some negative values like minus 3 minus 6 minus uh, 3 minus 3 into 2 is 2 times right minus 3 into 2 is minus 6 so here 2 should be the result 2 times like the different valid invalid for example developers may pass something like this 6 and 0 they will pass okay 6 and 0 6 goes into a b goes into 0 and what will happen guys when you try to divide a num uh, number by 0 here we'll get an exception okay unit testing is passed or failed here when an exception is occurring here in the code while developers are testing this uh, they pass it 6 and 0 and they got an exception here okay arithmetic exception they got in java and because of that this particular statement has not been executed so developers will fail the unit test okay this unit test will be failed and uh, since the developers have the access to this code to to fix that particular failed unit test uh, they will change the code they will put this inside the try catch blocks or whatever it is okay they'll handle the exception in real time so this is how guys developers can perform the unit testing okay um, they will test the individual unit separately by passing the valid and invalid inputs okay and uh, either pass or the fail the unit test accordingly fine guys now you understood what exactly is unit testing and uh, i gave you the example also what is the advantage of performing the unit testing in real software projects okay what is the advantage guys there are a lot of advantages guys okay so when you are performing when you are testing the units individually separately this generally happens very quick right in the beginning stages of the software itself okay uh, unit testing will be performed and if any issues are found in this unit uh, unit testing during the unit testing if any issues are found it is very easy to fix that defects guys okay they are like 
it's very easy to fix the defects okay they are very less costly okay uh, cheaper okay cost of fixing the defects is very less if uh, developers find the problems in this particular unit unit piece of code okay then fixing that particular defect is very easy and very cheap okay cost of fixing the defects is cheap in unit testing in later later levels if they find some defects like uh, if the defect is missed in unit testing and it is found in integration testing the cost of fixing the defect will increase a bit what about the defect got uh, missed from unit testing integration testing and finally found in the system testing the cost will rise okay so in the next levels of testing the cost of fixing the defects will rise okay and it is very easy to fix the defects in uh, in a very less time and uh, less cost okay and very easily we can developers can fix the defects in the unit test okay if they are found during unit test that is one of the benefit of the unit test and defects will be identified early guys okay before the integration testing system testing and user test acceptance testing are done unit testing will come first right it is a first level of software testing and if the defects are found that means defects will be detected early and hence the cost of if the defects are found early ultimately the cost of fixing the defects will be very less in the beginning stages of the software if the defects take time to discover and get fixed in the later phases of the software in that case the cost of fixing the defects will rise so ultimately another advantage is fixing the uh, defect fixing is easy identifying that early and cost effective three things now the last advantage i need to mention here is you see we automate right we automate the software testing right we so nowadays guys in agile world right you don't get much time right uh, you will be given only 10 working uh, you see like eight uh, 10 days sprint will duration will be two weeks okay sprint duration will be two weeks and in the two weeks four will be holidays itself like saturday sunday saturday sunday and remaining five five days that is overall 10 working days okay for all 10 working days you have to finish up your testing of a complex application to see how difficult it is right so you can you test the entire application in just 10 working days and uh, that given less time can it be possible no right that's why we automate the regression suit right so we automate the regression suit and while automating the regression testing we not only include the ui automation scripts okay we also include the unit tests okay we also include the automation of the unit tests okay so unit tests also can be automated along with the ui functional tests using selenium or some tool we automate the ui functional tests whereas unit tests can also be automated guys okay there are some unit testing frameworks like testng jnit and all that developers can use and they will run this unit tests at a go okay hundreds of unit tests they can run for every build every version of the software they can run guys by running the unit tests by running the api automation tests by running the ui functional tests right it will give more results okay so for each and every version okay we have to run the test as part of regression testing we have to automate the unit tests also so that is another advantage guys okay so supports us in automating the regression suit okay so it becomes automation regression suit unit test also participates in that and it will make our scripts more stable and all okay it will detect the errors quickly and the defects uh, identified during the unit test is uh, kind of very cheaper to fix and also we have to automate this unit test as part of the regression testing okay not only ui functional testing we have to also automate the unit test as part of the regression automation testing automation so these are the advantages of the unit testing guys hope you understood what exactly is unit testing and uh, who will perform unit testing in which category unit testing falls into and an example of a unit testing and what are the different advantages we get by performing the unit testing okay so so hope guys you got the answer for this question what is unit testing so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer the next software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye